Hi, and welcome to uh, video one of three videos for section 3.3 for Math 181. So in this section, we're going to be looking at the derivatives of logs and exponential functions. So in 3.2, we looked at a lot of the properties of logs and exponentials. Now we're going to look at their derivatives. So first off, recall from 3.1 that E, we rewrote that as the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 plus x to the 1 over x power. So as we're taking the derivative of this, we're really taking the derivative of this function. So we get first off theorem 1, which says the following. f of x is equal to, if we have a log function, so if f of x is equal to the log of x, base a, if this is differentiable, So we have this function that's differentiable, and that derivative, or that diff if we di differentiate it, the derivative is equal to 1 over x times the log base a of e. Now, remember in video 2, I believe, for section 3.2, we had our change of base rule. So with our change of base rule, if we apply that to this function here, we can rewrite this as f of x. So if we're given a log function, the derivative of that log function is equal to 1 over x times the natural log of a. And this, probably a better way to... So the book ends it right here. So if I'm given log any base of some function x, it's just equal to 1 over x times the natural log of a. But we know already we're not just going to get x. It's going to be some crazy function. So this is really the same as 1 over x natural log of a times whatever that function is the derivative of that. So it's basically like the applying the chain rule, right? So if I'm given this function, I just rewrite this piece, 1 over whatever this guy is, times the natural log of whatever that base was. But then whatever I had here for x, I need to take the derivative of that and multiply it by this function. Again, basically applying a chain rule. So let's look at an example of what I'm really talking about here. So let's say we want to differentiate f of x when that function is log base 10 of 2 plus sine of x. So really this thing is our x piece in this formula. So the derivative of this, so f prime of x is equal to, we'll just use this formula, 1 over my x piece, 2 plus sine of x, times the natural log of whatever my base was, so natural log of 10. But then I have to multiply it by the derivative of what was in the parentheses there. So again, the chain rule, 2 plus sine of x prime. Take the derivative of that piece. So that becomes what? This is 1 over 2 plus sine of x times natural log of 10 times, well, derivative of 2, derivative of any constant is 0. Derivative of sine is what? It's cosine of x. And again, if this was 3x, I'd have to apply the chain rule there again. So be careful. Keep applying the chain rule as long as you need to until you just get down to that x value. So if I simplify this, this is cosine of x over... 2 plus sine of x 
times natural log of 10. So that was when I had log, the log function with a base. If I have, if I'm finding the derivative with respect to x of ln of x, natural log of x, this is just equal to 1 over x, meaning whatever that x piece was, which really a better way to write this would be 1 over x times the derivative of whatever that x value is. So again, you're not going to get what's the derivative of 1 over x. Or I'm sorry, what's, what's the derivative of natural log of x? You're going to get what's the derivative of natural log of sine of x or 2 plus sine of x, something like that, where you're going to have to apply the chain rule. Because the derivative of x is what? It's just 1. So technically, this thing is this piece when x is in its most simplest form. Well, let's look at an example where it's not, because it never is, right? So we want to differentiate y is equal to the natural log of x to the third plus 1. So that means y prime, because we were given y here, is, well, it's natural log of something, so it's just 1 over that something, so 1 over x to the third plus 1 times, by the chain rule, the derivative of this guy. x to the third plus 1, we need to take that derivative. So that's what? 1 over x to the third plus 1. Derivative of this piece is 3x squared. Derivative of 1 is 0. So if I combine these two, I get 3x squared over x to the third plus 1. And that's it. The key with all these, remember the chain rule. If you have any function besides just x by itself, you're going to have to apply the chain rule to whatever piece was attached to that function. So that's end of video one, short and sweet. Uh, just introducing you to the derivative of the log function. Come on back in video two, we're going to look at what's called logarithmic differentiation.